Hey folks, it's me, Steve Cohair. Uh, I'm just checking in with you all because I, I'm really excited about helping to host the Wintergreen Nature Foundation's upcoming event for the Love of the Land virtual celebration that's going to be happening on Friday, June 5th. So I figured I'd come out here in nature, uh, surrounded by Mother Nature herself, the bird songs, wildflowers, trees, occasional frogs, and... Wait a second. What's that? Wait a second. Holy scat. Check this out. Did you see that? This is... This is scat from the wild eastern acoustic guitar. Now, many folks believe that they are all but extinct. Most of them just have already been domesticated. But there are still a few folks who think that they're, they're out here in the wild still. Just really extremely rare to see them. So even finding this scat is just amazing. Well, hold on a second. Man, that smells fresh. That's about a half an hour old. I'm gonna go see if I can find any, any more examples. Maybe track this beast. Stay tuned. Hey folks, it's me. About an hour ago, I, I found scat uh, right here from uh, what I believe to be wild Eastern acoustic guitar. I know a lot of people thought it was extinct, but I believe differently now. As a matter of fact, I know differently now. I followed the trail and I found even some more fresh uh, string sheddings. There's definitely an Eastern guitar presence in these woods. And so I, I followed the trail, but then it went cold. So I stopped and I, and I listened and I heard this faint sound. It's a weird sound. It sounded like whale song, but, but different. And um, so I followed that. It got louder and louder. And going very slowly, I crept up to this tree. And um, you're not gonna believe what I saw. Right behind this tree about 25 yards. Here it is, folks. The first sighting of the east, wild eastern acoustic guitar. You see it right there? It kind of stands out, but it's, it's leaning up against the tree and you can hear its song. Oh, it's amazing. Now, um, I think because it's spring that its song is probably like a mating call trying to attract a female or, um, so, um, my hope is that I'll, I'm gonna go back down this path, kind of sc scurry around and see if I can get a closer look at this and get maybe even get some pictures, better picture quality photos um, for you all that I can bring to the Wintergreen Nature Foundation's uh, event on Friday, uh, June 5th. You know, the love of the land virtual celebration boy. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a time for celebration. All right, well, here I go. Wish me luck. Hey folks, it's me. I'm lucky to be alive. I mean, I've got like strings, cuts and scores all over my body, capo bites. I smell like old Martin scat. Turns out I was wrong. You know, it wasn't a mating call I was hearing of the, the Eastern, um, the, the wild Eastern acoustic guitar. I think it was the territorial warning, because as I got down the path and tried to, to get a little closer, I stumbled into its stand, and, and, uh, and there was a female, and the male was there, came rushing at me, and there were there was three or four baby ukuleles, baby ukes right there, and next thing I know, it was a blur I was set upon, and, and it was a, a, like, you know, strings and, and capo bites and... and scat and fretboards and bridges and nuts and all in my face and tuning strings and I, I I just like fought them off and I almost passed out but but I fought it off and and uh stumbled away and it took me about a like a quarter of a mile just to get them off my trail and so and that is why the Wintergreen Nature Foundation is so important you know not only for 
a lot of life experiences, but for education, you know? I mean, had I been better educated in the ways of the wild Eastern acoustic guitar, I would have known that the call wasn't a mating call. It was a territorial warning call. And I would have been better educated to stay away and just observe from afar. So I'm hoping that these wounds are going to heal uh, in time for me to um, help host uh, the Wintergreen Nature Foundation's fundraising event um, uh, for the Love of the Land virtual celebration because um, obviously this organization is vital. And so I look forward to hopefully seeing as many of you there as possible. And, uh, and my w wounds will heal by then. So uh, until then, take care, be safe, and, uh, and observe wildlife from a safe distance.